guys and welcome back. So in today's video I have an art supply haul and a bit of an unboxing for you. Uh, these are actually some materials I purchased for the courses I'm taking this semester and uh, turns out I'm taking oil painting so let's get right into it. The first item we have is some Gamblin Gamsol. I've never used it before but it's apparently 100% pure odorless mineral spirits. That, that seems useful I think. It is the standard for studio safety and thins oil colors and painting mediums brush and studio cleanup. All right. The next item is from Michaels. This is Windsor and Newton Artists oil color in Alizarin Crimson. Once again, uh, I'm, I just bought the colors that were on the list, so I know nothing about oil paint. I've actually only ever used it once for like an hour and I didn't know what I was doing. So I'm very excited to learn what I'm doing. Next item we got is actually packaged, so we are gonna unbox it together. I did a big order from Blix as well as uh, going to like Michael's and trying to find all this stuff because there was a glitch in the system. And basically, everything the teachers had uploaded to the online database my school uses for us to be able to access and like turn in assignments and whatnot, got deleted like the week before school started and uh, the lists were all in a different place than normal because um, I took last semester off so they changed things since the uh, a year ago? Is that how long it's been? Oh whatever, two semesters ago. That hurts less than a year ago but anywho uh, we all got the supply list and just had to order everything the first week of classes rather than having it in advance which is fine. The teacher's really cool about it too. This is walnut oil. It's extra pale, cold pressed, and boy oh boy does this marketing appeal to me. Does that not look like old timey goodness that I would use if I was in like Little Women 2019? Do you guys like Little Women 2019? Oh. I got that for well, with an Amazon card I got for Christmas, but it's so good. It's so good. All right, next thing is in a small box. It's cadmium free. <laughs> it's cadmium free yellow light oil paint, 37 milliliters. Um, this one is ooh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say the name wrong, but Utrecht, Utrecht, Utrecht. Anyway, artist oil colors, cadmium free yellow, certified non toxic, and uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I didn't really so. Funny story, I actually mixed up carmine and cadmium, and I was like, oh, I can't, I can't buy cadmium paint, you know, for the animals, and then I'm like, apparently cadmium is just a, a harsh metal, which still isn't great, but no animals are harmed during the making of it, which makes me feel better about my life choices, so that's good. Did I spend, like, $13 in Blix to get this one? Yes, but... I don't know, uh, my teacher, the first day of class was like, oh yeah, cadmiums are so bad, you know, they touch your hand and it soaks right into your bloodstream, and I'm like, oh, why was that not on the syllabus? <laughs> it's fine, though. Next item, uh, she didn't recommend sizes for us to get for oil paints, so I just kind of guessed and bought, like, the smallest one for most, but I know from the two people I watch who oil paint, Bailey J and Ruth Spear, that you're gonna need a lot of white. How do you open this? And so I got, how many milliliters? 150 milliliters of titanium white. Also, um, my teacher recommended a few different brands of oil paint, and uh, one of the ones was Gamblin, and I was like, those are the colors Ruth Spear uses. I'll, I'll be getting those, because she's talked about them before in her videos and says how good they are. Also, that's, that's, a, that's a nice font, right? That is a nice font. Next item, we've got another small box. This one is white. What do we have? Oh, it's three, it's three different oil paints. The first one we have is another Gamblin. This one is ultramarine blue. Ooh, very small, 37 milliliters, wow. Also, I have a little plant stand here that I was gonna show you, but you can't see it, so you just have to imagine it. It's like a little cute table that I'm gonna put a plant on. That one is stuck. We will take a different one then. We got raw umber. My teacher's also really big on mixing, oh, what is the word? Um, it's the kind of black that you don't get from a tube, it, but you keep, chromatic black. It's chromatic black. There we go. Um, yeah, but I've actually mixed some chromatic black for um, the painting I'm working on right now, which I will show you a sneak peek of 
if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this, but ta-da! Um, I'm very excited about it. It's basically yellow ochre and ultramarine and phthalos, and I'm, I'm, just, I'm just so excited. It's uh, the main inspiration for the color palette on the right side of the painting is the Maxfield Parish Cinderella with the yellows and blues. Delicious. And for the tree line in the back, it's that's all chromatic black, but I'm very excited to be going over it in class because oil paintings have that good, good color. The vibrancy is what we're looking for. But anyway, uh, we got some Gamblin... I don't know what makes this one different. This is Gamblin 1980. Hopefully that's allowed, but this is, this is cadmium red medium. Yeah. So I'm also going to get some gloves or something because once again, my teacher had said like, you know, if he gets in, if he gets in your hands, instant bloodstream toxicity, and that's not good. But also doesn't like gloves, which is cool. But also, I think I might look very fun um, in some gloves. You know, um, it's it's the reduction of potential harm for me. But yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna get those. Maybe like Home Depot, maybe like a light gardening glove. Also, I feel kind of fancy. You know, like a little bit ooh painting. Mm, we got table of contents lists. We don't need to see those. We got brushes. So, did my teacher recommend any specific brands? Yeah, a couple, but they didn't have most of the ones that I needed, and so I went on the Blick website, and I, I know brush, I know my brushes for everything else except oil paint, and so I know what brands I like, and there was a pretty long list of ones that were good that she liked. It wasn't like the main two, but anything kind of works. It's more your preference, and so if you ask me, well, did you spend like an hour going through the Blick online website to pick brushes that all kind of went together with your color palette for oil painting? I would have to say yes, I did do that, but do I regret it? No, because I have pretty blue brushes. I have two more in the other room that I will have to get because I got those ones separately, but she recommended Simply Simmons as one of the brands for being, you know, uh, good quality and also pretty cheap. And I got two of those. I really don't like these ones. I don't like the way they look, but it seems like they've changed them since the last time I bought these. They're like a slightly more pearlized finish now. I don't know if that's really picking up on camera, but I don't know. I I forget why I don't like these. Like, I feel like there was a re there was like some backstory to why I didn't like them. Like, I used them once in like school or something and they shed or... I have no reason, but you can stay. You're on thin ice. <laughs> Uh, basically, she had us get two sizes of a couple different shapes, so that was the size 2 shader, size 4 round, and then this is a silver bristleton filbert in 3, my. But yeah, I tried to pick brushes that were all blue or green, while also still finding ones that had nice reviews and like the ferrules that I liked and everything. Also, the, apparently brush sizing is really inconsistent because different manufacturers don't use the same sizing guidelines. So like a 3 that's a Traquel brush will be a different 3 that's a um, Simply Simmons brush. I don't know, I learned that in class and I thought it was very interesting. And then this is a Blick Scholastic Wonder White Filbert in 12. Specifically, um, she ended up saying later that we could have gotten whatever sizes that we wanted to get, like one big, one small, of the few different types that she recommended. But I didn't realize that at the time, and boy, boy, I'm gonna get the sizes you list on the sheet. So I, t I took a very long time to find a size 12 filbert. Very hard to find, but Blick Scholastic Wonder White ha has it. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Are you having fun? I am. I'm very excited about it, because that is a wonderful blue, like... <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Aren't you impressed? Um, not saying it's going to be kind of a flex when I roll up to the studio with all my matching brushes, but, uh, kind of a flex. <laughs> like I'm going to be rolling up to the studio anytime soon. I'm going to walk into the next room and, uh, say, hey. <laughs> I'll do it on Insta Stories or something so you all can see that I actually d get to do it. But, uh, next item is the Gorilla Painter car Cartone Board. Uh, these were recommended and they were, I've never used these before. Six by eight panels of ten sheets of resin impregnated cartone for oil, acrylic, and pastel. Okay. Um, <laughs> they're very archival, they're waterproof, and are super lightweight. Maybe used as is or primed with acrylic gesso, acrylic gel medium, or PVA. Mounted to a rigid support before final framing is advised. California Prop 65 warning. 
Why? Why would you rec why would you recommend a toxic material to a beginner class? I don't think I like that very much. Like Okay, well we're I guess we're not unboxing these. I don't want them in my bedroom. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, um I, I think like it's on one hand if the paint is toxic, okay, but like to what level like why? Why? I could have I could have just bought gesso boards and we all would have been happy, but no. Next thing. So we later found out we didn't actually need these and it was just like a suggested item on the list and that they don't do it every year, but it was on the list and so I bought it. Actually, we'll keep it in the wrapping because I don't know when we're gonna use these. Like, or if we'll use these. So if I keep them wrapped, maybe I can return them. But it's a uh, 212 and 216 inch stretcher bars for like canvas making. I don't like, I don't like boxed can, like the framed out, you know, fabric canvas. I don't, I don't like that. I've used it for acrylic before. I'm not a fan. It's too bouncy for me. And my teacher, when we had our first class was like, I, I don't like canvas. I'm like, what were these for then? Like, it's going to be cool to know how to do, but I don't know that, I don't know that I'll use it all that often. But I digress. Up next is this palette knife. Wow. With a very impressively tied knot in the bag. That's that's kind of fun. Thank you, whoever bagged this for me. I didn't know anything about fancy palette knives. I've only ever bought the plastic ones from like Joann's that come in the large bag. So there's that. But this is an RGM Blick Nickel Style Painting Knife, number 30, made in Italy. So jot that down. But uh, yeah. She, we, we had to specifically get the kind of like this sort of, this sort of aggressive pizza shape uh, with the pointy end. Um, turns out the end is actually not pointed, but overall is pointy. So hopefully that's fine. If not, I will just use simply a toothpick or something to mix, but I feel very professional right now. <laughs> the, the, the plastic $2 one does not really instill the same level of inspiration as like, Oh yes, I am mixing colors. Mm. You get it. Next thing. It's what you've been waiting for all this time. It's one 60 inch yard of 12 ounce unprimed canvas, of course. Um, it's just the Blick kind. It goes with the stretcher bars and it's double woven for strength. That's fun. I'm excited for that because even if I don't frame it out. I am excited to do a large painting because if there's one thing I like to do, it's work at reprehensible sizes. Ah. And then the next thing we've got is this Gray Matters paper palette. Uh, there are natural gray sheets for color mixing with a color mixing guide inside. There's 50 of them, 12 by 16. Very cool. Yep. It's palette paper I'm checking right now. Uh, the only palette paper I ever used was in a painting class I took junior year of high school in like the summertime, so I liked it a lot. It was great, but uh, haven't used it since. I'm always like, I'm gonna buy some of that, and then I never do it because I don't paint in acrylic often enough. <laughs> and then I got back into acrylic and was like, I'm gonna do acrylic wash. So you know how it is. And then this was another optional thing, but I I really wanted it because she was like, you can save paint if you use this, and I was like. Yay! I love saving paint! Also, the more paint I actually use on the painting, and the less goes into, like, the landfill because I, like, mixed it and didn't use it, like, the less toxic metals that are just loose in the landfill, I don't know, or, and just, like, that you might touch accidentally, you, you know? That feeling? Anyway, this is it. It's an artist palette seal. It's very big. It's 12 by 16, and it specifically is 12 by 16, so the palette paper, right, can go inside! Ta-da! You can't, you can't really tell, but it'll work great once it actually all gets together. And then last thing that I have right here and don't have to go into the next room and grab real quick is this canvas pad. Ta-da! Okay, it's the Blick Studio. Wait, you probably can't hear me. It's the Blick Studio canvas pad. It's real canvas, it says so right here. Triple pride with acrylic gesso suitable for use with any medium Wow. It's also 10 sheets, 18 by 24, and was incredibly hard to find. Uh, you know, it's hard to find 18 by 24 canvas paper. 
Like, I don't know how that one took me so long to find, because it's, it's the Blick brand, you think that would come up. But I kept finding Fredericks, and like, I know Fredericks is like, bougie for painting, like, Lockery Fine Art, she's sponsored by them, and it seems very nice. But also, I don't know what I'm doing, and so that kind of didn't feel justified to spend that much on stuff I don't know how to do. So, yeah, I'm very excited about it. I like that it is orange, and I'm just leaving my French easel up in the other room, which is why we're filming in here, because there's no room. Um, but yeah, let me run and grab those brushes and a couple of the things that are in there, and I will show you those. So, for the third and second to last things, I have just the two other brushes. I got these two first, and I was still trying to find those really specific brush sizes that she had sent for us. And so this is a Crafter's Choice number 10 round, and I bought it because it's gorgeous! Um, if you've never used the Joanne Crafts brand brushes, I love them. I use these for acrylics, and it says they're also good for oils, so I'm excited about that. I also use them for watercolor sometimes, like the, the one that I had for it. I accidentally used for acrylics, and now it's an acrylic brush, but you get me. They're also really cheap. And then the last thing uh, for brushes is this number 12 Royal & Lang Nickel. Um, it's a flat. I'm very excited about it because it was so hard to find. But they had it at an obscure Joanne Crafts, and look at her. She's so pretty! <laughs> it's like this minty, tealy green, and the ferrule is gold. Like, if I were a brush, this is what I want to look like. And then, really last thing, but it's not about oil painting, um, I'm also taking a graphic novel storytelling course this semester, like a script writing for comics sort of course, and uh, one of the textbooks came in the mail the other day, and I'm very excited about it. Um, it's the, the Art of Comic Book Writing, the Definitive Guide to Outlining, Scripting, and Pitching Your Sequential Art Series by Mark Neese through SCAD Creative Essentials, and uh, I'm incredibly excited about it. I'm working on a new project for it and everything. Also, regular comic updates are coming soon, so stay tuned for those, but yeah, I hope your semesters are also off to a good start. Like, we're, we're aiming for the middle of the road here this time. Like, am I gonna try incredibly hard in my classes? Oh, for sure! But I hope your semester is going well! I hope it's, I hope it's okay! And if you're feeling brave, I hope it's going great. But that is all for today, I hope you enjoyed seeing my art school supply haul, and I will see you in the next one, all right? Bye! Um, she said later that we could have gotten whatever sizes we wanted as long as... <laughs> <sighs> That's cool, I'll just refilm it. Ah yes, in frame. <laughs> Um, these are the ones I really like to use for oil... <laughs> oils. These, that's what this one's for.